you are now listening to or watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Yeah, and if you aren't, you can head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and listen to us now, or head on over to Drib on YouTube and watch the video version as well. And if you'd like to stay up to date on when we're releasing a new episode or any other fun information about the podcast, you can give us a follow on Instagram at It Takes All Kinds Podcast and on Twitter at ITAC Podcast. That's I T A K Podcast. Without saying much else, we hope you enjoy this episode. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Six-year-old. My sound bites are still fricked up. I'm here to date your six-year-old. Uh, I don't have a six-year-old. Well, everybody. Don't, don't really know why. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the It Takes All Kinds Pop. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> I got a hard out in about 20 minutes, okay. so. All right, sounds good. If you could figure all right, out we're going to do a speed round. <clears throat> what you listen? Everybody, I, I noticed that I've been listening to our shows. Okay. Just Do like you that. honestly think? I play it. Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? Not really. Um, I've been listening Ooh, to our shows, and I notice that I say guys a lot, and it's getting on my nerves. So I'm gonna try my best to stop saying guys. So hey everyone, welcome back to the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Uh, thank you for sticking through us. Thank you for sticking sticking through the thick and thin thin. Thank you for coming back, and thank you for being here. We're so happy to have everybody here. Um, we got Chucky, we got Michael, everybody's here. This is episode Spud Ged, Kwai, Gimp. This is episode 60, Gavin. Isn't that crazy? Can you believe that we've done 60 episodes of this show? We're almost in syndication. We almost have this recorded almost we have we record like five episodes a week. So you're we're recording this on no, just kidding, we're not. We 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 actually mass up our episodes for a month. Yeah. We just, Gavin comes over and he brings like a, five different changes of clothes and we yeah. just like get the whole month done in one. Yeah, day. and we predict uh what celebrity news is gonna happen. So like the slap episode, we knew what that was gonna happen. We knew it. We had we somebody tipped us off and uh that's how we did it. Today is Sunday, April twenty fourth. You will be hearing this on Friday, April 29th. It's almost May. The Ides of March. Wait, you got to keep coming, coming in more. What's up? Why are you telling him to come in more? Where did he even come from? How would you get in there? Sauna. Sauna? There's no sauna. Yeah. That's my closet. Nah, it's sauna. Mm, pretty sure that's my closet. How did you even get in here? It's a sauna. No, no, it's not. Just sit down. We'll figure this out. I forgot I got him here. Why did you bring him here? A couple of reasons. He just said he was in a sauna. There's no sauna in there. That I know of. <laughs> He's mine. I, you wanna, they're there, you wanna so. Put a shirt on? or. Yeah, you should probably put the shirt on before the... Usually put the shirt on before the headphones. It's kind of cold in here, isn't it? Diamond cutters. Are you just mining? Just mining for Minecraft? diamonds. So there's a s you were in the sauna. Yeah. There's Doing a worried. I don't you know? No, there's not a sauna. I can show you. Get the fuck out of my room! I'm playing Minecraft! Why don't you show me after the show? Okay. Jerk off. <sighs> Fucking jerk off. Everybody! Let's welcome Sean McRaven! The only third time, third time guest on our show. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh. 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 Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Sean, we're so happy to have you here. <clears throat> you mind if I take my towel off? <laughs> you're more than welcome to. Uh, Sean, you've, you're you're the only person who's been on the show three times now. It's an honor. It better be. 
I'm just your guys' favorite guest. The fans love me. The fans kept texting me all day saying, why isn't Sean When is he back? When is Sean coming back on? Can he please come out of the sauna? And we got here. He needs to get out of the closet. Now I know exactly what's going on the thumbnail. You got to just miss him out on the sauna. All right, dude. Man, let's do an episode of a sauna sometime, Gavin. Sauna episode. Sauna special. So right after we get special. one at a baseball game. The Shauna. Yeah, we still need to do, do that. Yeah. We, we want to do an episode at a Cardinals yeah. game. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we should just we work? should go all out and, and rent a box. That would be really expensive, I feel like. Yeah. How would you guys be able to get all this equipment? Damn it, I'm made of money. <laughs> a gun case, probably. Oh, okay. A bomb. I know a guy. We could we could probably we could put it. Spencer has a lot of money, so we can like ask him. We can sneak it in a bomb. Yeah. He can probably buy the flat. Yeah. The flat. He, he could buy a flat. He could buy a flat. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We we'll figure it out. Oh. We'll cross that bri- We'll cross the. We'll cross that river. So you're Gavin's brother. How does that How does that feel to you? God, so fucking awesome. Why? Just such a. You just boy. had a birthday recently. You turned I did. twenty. One. What day was that? No, uh, that 21. 21. Turn 20. 21. Show me your birth certificate. I got folded up here. All right. You start, when did you turn 20? Uh, yesterday. Mm. The 23rd. Was it yesterday? Yeah. It was yesterday. You're right. I am right. Uh, can we hold get on, let uh, me check the calendar? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, can we get quick? verification on that? Okay. Yeah, hold on just a second. <laughs> yeah, but you're right. Um. So no special birthday, anything for you? Like he made a compilation of all these people singing happy birthday to me, just me and nobody else, and no other Gavin's exist in the world. You get. Good morning, Gavin. Yeah, you get. You get. You need to turn yours down. I had to turn up the volume. When I did that funny thing, I fucked everything up. Oh. I ate a whole. Yeah, you make it. The whole thing. I I I wanted another. One. You make a big deal. You make a big deal about not fucking up the levels, and then you fuck up the levels. Well, Sean's a guest, so that's why I didn't do anything special for his birthday. Oh, well, he's just on his phone. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just a guest. Just your third time returning guest. Must be bored or something. I'm already oh. on his phone. Uh, the Anything important right. going on there? Or? Oh, we're going to get flagged for that, so I'm going to go ahead and mute your mic. So, Gavin, um, how have you been? How have you been? I. Uh, <laughs> I've been, uh, I've been, you know, I've been pretty tired, honestly. It's, it's like, <laughs> but you're done with class. You're done with. I'm done with. Regular I'm classes. done with classes. But now I'm now I'm like absolutely burned out. I I just don't want it at all. I I don't I want the whole to the whole thing. I, I, I don't I want anything to do with it, and I don't like Big B J Novak. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? B J Blowback. Like B J Novak is an actor. I don't like B.J. Novak as an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? B.J. Yeah. Novak is a is the intern in the office, and then he becomes the boy Ryan in the office. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. And I don't. So like you're him. tired from? I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of school. I'm well, tired. drop out <laughs> like I did. End it. Yeah. Uh, drop out like I did, dude. <laughs> they give me living. They give me living la- lavish, la- lavish, lavishly. No, it's just been, I've just been really tired. I'm bored. I'm not bored, but, you know, burned out, bored. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm really tired. Well, I'm, why don't you figure out what you are and come back, huh? Okay. Why don't you take like five? Take a fiver. Anybody got a fiver for the bus fare? <laughs> All right. That's my favorite website, Fiverr is. Fiverr. That's where you can get. Yeah, I'm just tired. How are you, Carson? Um, hmm. I'm good, actually. I'm doing really well. They, you've um, had two weeks in a row filming the podcast on Fridays. <laughs> yeah, for Office Hours. Yeah. The show that I work for, starring Tim Heidecker. And wait a minute. Wait, DJ where did Doug you go? Where did you go for that? L.A., Los Angeles, California. Uh, it's technically Glendale, but same area. Oh, God. Oh. Um, don't have you guys. Yeah. I work no. That show or whatever. No. Whatever. Yeah, we actually had on Bob Odenkirk on Friday, which is really cool. Really, just f- like it was just a very fun kind of inspiring uh, episode. I haven't gotten a chance to watch that yet. You should. You should give it a listen. Just like in the background, it was it, it was just very in- it was just a very interesting thing to listen to. You texted me and told me that uh, Bob Odenkirk was a big fan of the replacements, right? And which I didn't I, re- know. I already knew that because he did a Q and A back in like 2015, whenever Better Call Saul first season came out. And people were asking like what his favorite bands were. It was like the replacements, Arctic Monkeys, and 
s- oh. some other band. Every band you like. Yeah. No, seriously. I would love to meet him one day. Well, friend of the show. Let's friend of the show. Yeah. Bring, come on out. Come on out of the sauna. Ooh. Come on out, Mr. Goldenberg, um, Goldberg. Mr. Goldberg. <clears throat> Let's bring him out. So, Sean, what I've been about? waiting for this moment for months, and it's finally here. Yeah, it was fun, uh, uh, but I'm doing good. I don't think there's anything special going on in my life. I did Can a I wedding yesterday. Here you go. I did a wedding yesterday. Uh, it's really, really fun. Traditional. A tra- traditional. Was, tr- was it a trad wedding? It was trad tradi- wedding? It was a tradi- trad. trad. Uh, it was a traditional blue collar wedding, like laying, they usually are. Laying bricks down. Laying bricks. Laying pipe. Sean, how are you doing? Since we last I'm, spoke, I'm to in you. the same boat as Gavin. I'm pretty, pretty burnt out right now. So when are you done with your sophomore year of college? This week. Whoa. The bum finals bum. too. You have finals this week. Finals are this week. You have finals tomorrow. I only have like one final in person. That's on Wednesday. So my last class is on Wednesday. What are your what are, well, are they all are on? <clears throat> I had a, a chem lab. Like all of it was in person, but the final is online. I already took that. Uh, then I have to take. Just the normal chem lecture. Yeah. Online. Yeah. The final. Yeah. And then I take nutrition science final. But that's online. Yep. And then I also yeah. take, take appreciation of theater. Ah. Final. Gavin played me the playlist you made for uh, yeah. Spam a lot or whatever it was. <laughs> Spunk a lot. Spunk a lot. <laughs> yep. I oh, Candela- Candelario. Was a lot of time you guys was put like into snuck it. In there? The Batman thing. Batman that's theme. right. And a, bu- a little bit of Skyrim and a little yeah. bit of World of Warcraft. A yeah. little bit of Batman. A little bit of WoW. Yeah. You guys ever play WoW? Answer in the comments below. Listen to that horn! So, you're burnt out as well. Yeah. You're ready to be done. And you're almost yep. done. So, so, when is that last final? Uh, and don't lie the, to probably me. Probably the last thing I'll do is that appreciation of theater. Dude, that should be the point. first thing on your list. <laughs> that should be the first thing on your list. You should get that checked off your list. And and you're never going to appreciate the year the same way again. It's like I have to make like a 30-slide PowerPoint about each like different thing of like a theatrical like play. Like the <laughs> actors, the lighting, the makeup, the costume. You should cast. Actually, what to do today is I have to make a drawing. A drawing. A drawing. Did you do of, it? Uh, makeup and a costume. To do it at midnight? <laughs> is it due at midnight? Yeah, it's due at midnight, yeah. Should probably get on that. Yeah. I'll get a pen and paper here for you. I think I'm just gonna draw uh the Batman David Bowie. Oh, okay, yeah. The Do you literally just have to draw that? Yeah, yeah. it's like on a I have to a, print out like a face picture. On a canvas. Like, yeah. I'm gonna go back to college. <laughs> yeah. You did you did art appreciation. So uh I did art history. <laughs> and it was one of the hardest classes I've ever had to take. Are you serious? <laughs> Kind of. I loved it though. I was having such a awesome. great time. That's I loved it. It was my favorite. I took it. I took it twice. Really? <laughs> no, I, took, <laughs> I loved it. I loved it twice. Two. He named it twice. I loved it twice. Fucked it thrice. Okay. Part of my French. A praise. Yeah, I loved that. That was my favorite <laughs> class I ever took in college. So Fun that's, fact. Like, that's like a blow off class I'm taking. Or like a like you gotta you gotta suck it off the teacher. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Take the words right out of my. Uh, like you're blow, like you're, like you're doing a speed run to blow job the teacher. Yeah. I don't like B- B.J. Novak as an actor. Oh my God! <laughs> Woohoo! Never sniff inhalants. <laughs> when is that? When is that last final? When are you officially done? I'll, I'm gonna try and just throw everything I have throw. done <laughs> uh, on Friday. Okay. But I have a, we have a lot of games this week. Oh, throughout the week? I think a ga- doubleheader Tuesday, game Wednesday. Are you traveling anymore? No, we're done traveling now. Oh, good. That's I want to come see a game. Well, actually, we go to Harris Stowe. That's close to my that's, school. That's, that's, that's at Slough, basically. Yeah. We play them this coming weekend. Are you, is baseball almost over? Yeah. And then the, next week we have uh, the <coughs> conference tournament. The tourney. That, that, uh, the tourney. <laughs> at at Carshield. Tourney. Carshield. Oh, Field. that's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off 70, right? Not to yeah. geolocate ourselves. So, guys, yeah. go see Sean next week Live. for his tourney at the Car Shield Amphitheater. Are you going to play? Nope. Are you really not playing? No. Why? Well, let's not get into that. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. I kind of like to. Well, it's no, we don't uh, have to. very political. <sighs> All 
right? I didn't know we had a senator on the show. Yeah. I'm running senator. for office. Yeah. So I can't even you come see you play. You anymore. can. I won't be playing, though. Well, why the fuck did I go? I don't know, because you, you said you wanted to go. I want to see you play. Well, that's probably not going to happen. Why? Because all I do is, like, pinch run. So you run for other players? That's right. So you are, the big boys. you're at least doing that, right? Not, like, all the time, though. <laughs> All right. He's just he's got a good clock speed. He knows how to count the time yeah, really good well. Clock speed. No. Cock speed? Uh huh. Yeah. I had a uh, girlfriend who said I had good cock speed once. Yeah. Because I have a uh, couple of chickens. All right. Well. Yeah. S I think we're done with you, Sean, since you don't want to answer my question about why you're not. Well, I, I can't get into that. That's my like opinion, and not everyone on the team agrees with my opinion. It's not fact. Well, that's fine. Uh, do you, that's 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 the only answer I needed. He's stirring the pot. Welcome back to Stirring the Pot with Sean McRaven. Sean, what are you stirring today? Come. His favorite stew. Come. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. I was thinking earlier when I was in the shower. Or actually, when I got out of the shower, uh, I'm dealing. I have some um, issues. Okay. I'm dealing what? with some acne issues. Yeah. How can I help you? Acne. You got anything uh, for it? Yeah, actually, we just learned. Well, I have an exam coming up on Thursday, a final for that, actually. Can you give me something now? Uh, no. <laughs> what do you have vault? on you right I gotta, now? I got to go to the Narc Vault. <laughs> we were talking about that at dinner today. Yeah. The Narc Vault. The Narc Vault. What's the Narc Vault? It's where we keep all of our narcotics. Oh, the cocaine and the uh, cocaina. The how you going? Do you have heroin there? No, I don't think so. <laughs> don't think Why so. Not? That's a street drug. <laughs> You're a street drug. <laughs> You guys have? No, I don't think so. What? Not at our hospital. At other hospitals, like that's medicinal. Not at our hospital. I got my med card. I'll show it to you. Show it to there's you. no smoking inside the hospital. Show it to you. <laughs> you don't have to smoke it. Eat it. You eat it like candy. <laughs> Hardened. Eat the bud. You know, caramelized. You guys have caramel have what? No, I don't think so. Well, I, that, there's no reason. Well, it's <laughs> it's not medicinal yet. Could be. Um, so I got out of the shower and I'm, I have some acne issues uh -huh. and there's like, I got like a scab situation going on right here. Syphilis. And I, Syph. Yeah. And it's Syph for sure. He's got the clap. I got to test it. And I was like, oh, I, I, I keep wanting to put a bandaid on there. And I was like, well, I don't want to be like, I don't want people to think I'm trying to be like put Nelly. An, put an X over it. Right. But like you know how Nelly would always wear a bandaid like right here? Yeah. But he had an actual issue. No, he, I don't know if he actually did. <laughs> don't think he did. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, Nelly. No, I think he definitely did. And then I was like, oh, Nelly. What's Nelly short for? Nelson? And I thought that was really funny. That's all you got, huh? <laughs> that's, that's what you came up with? That's pretty much all I got today. Yeah, I know Nelly on a personal level. So. The green? Well, that's what I was going to get into is you're good friends with Nelly. Very good. What's He's been invited to his what's house. What's his real name, Nelson? Oh, my God. It's like... God, I don't remember. It's like Corleone, Carter. It's like Corleone or something. Which yeah, Cornelius, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. Cornelius, Cornelius no. Butworth. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's find out. It's like I'm pretty sure it's like the third. Or oh something yeah, it's like Nelson. That. It's Cornell. Cornell Hayes. Cornell Hayes. I I Ral Haynes Jr. Haynes. Haynes like the Bunderbants. Yep. Excuse me. Yeah, cool guy. He's really strong. Probably because he uh. Keep rid of it. He's juiced to the gills. Is he juiced? He's gotta be. Why do you say that? <laughs> well, He's not natty. If you're of that status. Why would you not? I wouldn't. Why not? Because I don't want to put that garbage in my body. It's not garbo. Let me take a drink of this Pepsi. Yeah. Creatine's much worse than you. You're better than creatine. I'm on Natty, dude. Oh, me. I don't do anything. Not even drugs. Not even drugs. Not even alcohol. Alcohol. I've never had a sip of beer in my life. There's a guy at Tony's at uh, Tony's at, at who at Club Fitness pulls his tooth out at the front desk. At the front desk. Does the guy work there? I know the whole story. No, he doesn't work there. He's just like a regular that would come in. Oh, did he? Did he's did like you like follow up? This, did you follow up the story about the tooth thing with him ever? No. Do you, I'm afraid to. Honestly. Well, I mean, you, I know why he did it because he said it was bothering him, so he. <laughs> 
Why are you out? Fucking... You should tell this story for the audience because it was a very interesting story. Yeah, we were just working at the front desk, and he came up and right. asked us for a pair of pliers. So I. But and he was now before you said that was he working out in there or did he just come in? He works out. So he actually, was... actually, I don't know. Sometimes he comes in and sometimes he comes in and works out. So, so do you remember I, what I, this I don't remember exactly okay. was, but he. Yeah. <laughs> All I did was just ask for a pair of pliers, and us not thinking he was gonna pull out a tooth, gave him the pair of pliers, and he like. Yeah. At the front desk. At the front desk and ripped his molar out. Oh. And then yeah. what? And then what happened? I think he left after that. With the tooth. Mm-mm. And the pliers. He, and the pliers. He asked us if we could throw away the tooth. And then you were like, "Yeah, sure." Hey, and like he I, he's he's like, "Yeah, I can't have my dental records hanging around. <laughs> I cannot have this tooth with me." So that, that was, was his cyanide capsule, too. Yeah. And I took a picture with him. Did you really? I really did. I'll show you. Don't show it to the audience. I but won't. You can it's show not us. like anything bad or anything. Come no, on, I know, but we no, don't need to. No, come on, dude. We don't need to show people. That's that. what he looks like. Why? He looks very normal. Yeah, he's like the average looking Joe. Yeah. And it's he, funny. His name is Joe. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you already showed Gavin. Yeah, I've seen it. Wow. I guess I'm the only one who doesn't know things here. <laughs> so that was really funny. Um, I have something. Uh, I have something, and I, this is the way I have to introduce it. Sorry, wrong song. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Frank that bitch. So, Sean, this is, of course, the segment called Look What I Found, uh, where I find something, or Gavin finds something, and we show it to each other. <laughs> and uh, this week, I have a... Is this cli- a real segment? I have a clip yeah, of... Yeah, this is a real segment. I got a clip that I will explain in more detail in a minute of everybody's favorite president, Lyndon B. Johnson. Uh, Mr. Hager? Yes, it's Joe Hager. Uh, Joe, uh, uh, is your father the one that uh, makes uh, clothes? Yes, sir. We're all I've heard this. Uh, <laughs> you all made me some real lightweight slacks uh, uh, that he just made up on his own, sent to me three or four months ago. It's a kind of a light brown and a light green, rather soft green. Is he soft jacking brown. off? What is that? Is that the and they're real lightweight. Now, I need about six pairs for summer wear. Yes, sir. I want a couple, of, maybe three of the light brown, uh, kind of a almost powder color, like powder on a lady's face. Then there were some green, and then maybe some other light pair. If you had a blue in that or, or a black, I'd have one blue and one black. I need about six pairs to uh, wear around in the evening when I come in from work. And I need uh, they're about a half an inch too tight in the waist. Do you recall the exact size? I just wanted to be sure we get them right for you. No, I don't know. You, you all just guessed out of my thing, son, but wouldn't you have the measurements there? We'll find them for you. I can send you a pair. I want them a half an inch larger in the waist than they were before, except I want two or three inches of stuff left back in there so I can take them up. I vary 10 to 15 pounds a month. So uh, leave me at least two and a half, three inches in the back where I can let them out or take them up. And put it, make these a half inch bigger in the waist. Make the pockets at least an inch longer. Money, uh, my money and my knife, everything fall out. Wait just a minute. Knife? Hello? Hello. Now, the pockets, when you sit down in the chair, the knife and your money comes out. So I need it at least another inch in the pockets. A knife? Uh, yeah. Now, another thing, the crotch down where your nuts hang is always a little too tight. So when you make them up, give me an inch that I can let out there uh, because they cut me. It's just like riding a, a wire fence. These are almost these are the best that I've had anywhere in the United States. But uh, uh, when I gain a little weight, they cut me under there. So believe me, uh, you never do have much margin there. Let's see if you can't leave me about it. An inch from the where the zipper in. is. He uh, drunk? He has no, you just missed it. <laughs> Fuck. Why'd you talk Sorry. over it? Sorry. They cut me under there. So, leave me. Uh, you never do have much margin there. Let's see if you can't leave me about an inch from the where the zipper in. Uh, ends. 
uh, round uh, <laughs> under my back to my bunghole. All right, then. <laughs> and so, uh, in my state of the, my state of. Here's mine. Okay. This is this is my funny. Hold on, the wait. Union are... Go on. <laughs> state, my speech to the nation, whatever you want to call it, speech to the nation. <laughs> I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. <laughs> And America needs a military where our breasts and brightest are proud to serve and proud to stay. If you're a single mother with two children, which is the toughest job in America as far as I'm concerned, and you're working hard to put food on your family, <laughs> rarely is the question this is George asked, Bush on Seinfeld. How are, is our children learning? Too many good docs are getting out of business. Too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their, their love with women all across this country. See, I don't think you can be. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. <laughs> if fool me, we can't get fooled again. Wow, that was great. Yeah. Why was it just, it did just so happen that they were both presidents? What? The clips that you guys chose, they were both presidents. Well, what I what I think happened is that I I had my clip prepared, and then Gavin thought of a clip whenever I. No, I've been saying this for years. There's an old saying saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee. That says, "Fool me once, shame on, shame on you." It fooled me. We can't get fooled again. But you thought of, you, can't you, were, get you were again. thinking about Borch Jush whenever I played that. No. No, we didn't have this prepared. This wasn't it. I had mine prepared. No, I had mine prepared too. How would you have prepared that whenever? <laughs> I had, you didn't even know I was going to do that. No, I didn't, but I had that feeling in me, you know. Definitely shame on Carson. Creepy, disgusting uh, behavior by him. <laughs> <laughs> so... I love Carson behind my bung hole. Johnson. <laughs> so tell me, tell me oh, a little but bit. I wanted to give a shout out about that call. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. Tell you a little bit about what? Uh, tell you about what? So tell me a little bit about LBJ and like why he's so why he's one of your favorites. So that was a tweet from one of my new favorite Twitter accounts called Crazy Ass Moments in American Politics. Um, at A M P O L underscore moment. <laughs> uh, Armful. Uh, he's got a mm. his image is of Brian from Family Guy, my favorite show. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of my favorites ever. Um, and he tweets a lot about things that Lyndon B. Johnson did, and I love. I just now love Lyndon B. Johnson. Here's what ha- <laughs> here's what Howard Taft sounds like. In the progress of the world, I'm willing to admit. And here's what Teddy Roosevelt sounded like. You know before our people can be stated. It is are the American people fit. We Teddy, are the American people. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt <laughs> sounds like he sounds like he had polio. Oh, you're thinking of a, the other I guy. Think, uh, that's that's FDR. Not LBJ. Uh, no. Not LeBron James. <laughs> not LGBTQ. That was my not, favorite. Not person. LBJ. <laughs> not LBJ. Uh, but Lyndon B. Johnson has become my favorite president uh, in history because he was just a big moron. Uh, a lot of people, he, very he won the popular vote. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I don't know I, either. I, <laughs> he, he only became, did he get a second, did he get elected for, did he get reelected for a second term? <laughs> Please tell me the answer. I don't no. think he did. I don't think he did. Because then it was Nixon, wasn't it? Yeah, who did water, uh, water, water skate. Water water sports. Sk- he went water skating. No, he only had one. One, yeah. Actually, not even a full it year. Three, right? It wasn't even. Wait, no, because when was Kennedy assassinated? Nineteen. Oh no, it was two. He did have a two boy. Sixty three. Two. Sixty three. Sixty three. November eleventh. Oh, November twenty no, second. Yeah, twenty second. Sixty three. You're right. <sighs> so that was when. No, because he was in sixty one. So, no. So Lyndon B. Johnson did get reelected because he was president until sixty nine. He was the one that landed the man on the moon. Yeah, it'll be a really funny no. tattoo. It, he what? He didn't. He wasn't. He didn't. You because that was. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna come full circle. So yeah. yeah. Hey, well, <laughs> on a second, man <laughs> on the moon date. No, he was not. 
Who was, was it? That was, Pr- that was Pritchard Nixon. Pritch- Pritchard. Pr- Pritchard Nixon. I think that was Prickard Nixon. Because if he was after, was Nixon after Lyndon? Nixon Cider. Yeah, so that was President uh, George Nixon. What was his nickname? I'm not a crook. What was Nixon's nickname? Dick. Dick. Dick Nix. No. Which was also a funny tweet. I thought it was like that crazy ass moments in American history tweeted. It, it was of some vintage pins from uh, the 72 election campaign. It says, they can't lick our dick. They can't lick our dick. Well done, Dick. Tricky Dicky. We like our dick. There's a lot of things about dicks. Yeah. Well, I mean, Richard is, you know, that's just a, that's a good name. Yeah. And was Dick grandpa, is also a really good name. That's my grandpa's name. Rest the in one, peace. The one, who, uh, the one who died was... Died in Shop and Save, yes. Wait, what? That wasn't what I was going to say. My but wasn't that the one that in Shop and Save and died. Wasn't that the Olympian? Yeah, back in 2013. Wasn't, his, that, wasn't he Olympian? No, his, my grandma's mom, dad mm-hmm. was the almost Olympian. Was. I believe. He was really good at... Yeah, it was. Him. Curling. Yeah. No, shot put. <laughs> oh. And he almost could have... It runs he, in the family. Yeah, he could have gone to... The, right, because I'm a shot... Yeah, shot put putter. Her. I go to the grocery store and I shot... Why put. don't you shot put some bitches? <laughs> oh. That's what's up. This dick... This dick eating is crazy. So follow that again. So what was the funny tattoo idea, Sean? Oh, yeah. Tell us about the tattoo. So it's... <laughs> You know, like the uh, no. You know, there's a Pruder film. Yeah, we talked you know, about like, it last week. Yeah, you yeah. know the uh, the Batman. I would say like the the cover image of it, where he's like, you know, looking over the yeah, like that. Imagine it's like just the outline of that with like like a <laughs> like a like a sniper scope. Or like the Dead Kennedys album. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh, uh, I just typed in. I think like that. I just typed in porn. Oh, that's uh, not right. Yeah, let me pull it up. Holiday in Cambodia and whatnot. JFK mm-hmm. Dead Kennedys album. I'm going to get it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, kind of. It doesn't have the sniper boy on it, but. Oh, it was The Misfits, not Kennedy's. Dead Kennedy's. It was The Misfits had an album cover with Kennedy's head exploding all over the fucking lawn. <laughs> Yeah, I watch the Sabrina film every night before bed. I just took it away, of course. Firefox? Fire Festival? Yeah, that's the Misfits one. Oh. Ah. Yeah, like that, but there'd be like a, a scope. A like scope. A, like a hit marker type thing. And why would somebody get that tattooed? I don't know, it's just funny. Because it's Lenny B. Johnson. It's funny. Yeah. Did you know that um, John Hinckley Jr., who attempted to assassinate Reagan and almost was successful, um came out of prison a couple of years ago and is now a musician is going to be in Chicago the same weekend I'll be in Chicago. So I could go see him live, which is not sold out by the way, Gavin. Oh really? I heard it was sold out. You were dead wrong. So how old is that guy? Pretty old. What 70, kind of music 60s. does he make? I have no idea. I've never listened to it, but I follow him on Twitter. Are you going to go to it? Maybe. We'll see. Hey, my name's Carson. I run a podcast. Uh, what was it like trying to assassinate Reagan? But he got, he, they uh, didn't. No. They committed a crime. They didn't. Put, or he pleaded. I think he pleaded guilty or something from ins- or pleaded insanity and was put in like a mental hospital prison. But they found out they were like, "Oh, you're insane. You're not gonna. We're not gonna like put you in real prison." You're, oh, you're, he had oh, some you're sort a, of a like, musician. We're not going to put you in jail. Oh, you're a magician. Oh, I see. We can't do that. Uh, he had that, like... You can't have any magicans in jail. No. It's <laughs> magicans. He had that, like, this disorder where you, like, think somebody's, like... Your dad. After you, or, like... Schizophrenia. You think somebody's, like... Paranoia. Sp- specific. Yeah, kind of like that, but you, like, think somebody's specifically, like, talking to you. And so he was... Schizophrenia. Obsessed with... Uh, the child actor at the time, Jodie Foster, who was a child at the time, and he believed that uh, she was trying to send him messages and that they were going to be in love, and she was a child. And she was telling him to kill Kennedy. Uh, um, the Reagan. Reagan, um, yes. Yeah. I both, think so. Both I think really great presidents. Along with the story. I don't know. Gosh. You got any Lyndon B. Johnson stories, Kevin? 
Uh, wasn't that the guy who would take his dick out? Yeah. Prick, Prick Johnson. Okay, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Gavin, the other big news that I can't believe you haven't spoken about is that you're getting your bachelor's degree this next month. President Lyndon Baines Johnson. He had a pretty good sized penis. Hello, America. My name is Elmo is that Trevor Noah? I'm here to tell you about my latest book, Lyndon Baines Johnson's Penis. <laughs> You're, uh, you're, you're you're getting a degree. Yeah, graduating the bachelor's cool. in pharmaceutical sciences. I think that's pretty cool. What mm-hmm. could you do with that? Without going into <laughs> <laughs> without pharmacy. going into uh, without going into like pharmacy. Maybe if you did go into pharmacy, what could you theoretically do? Theoretically, I could theoretically I could just be a pharmaceutical salesman, and that makes a lot of money. But you don't want to do that. No. Why not? What do you want to do again? Uh, I'd be okay with working in a hospital. Um, Doing what? Getting high. Surgery? No, uh, just kind of not even clinical pharmacy, but just like just a hospital pharmacist. Like, hey, call me for questions about drugs. I'll be here. Oh, sounds so boring. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gotta fucking hate that. God, that just sounds. That would so suck, wouldn't it? Yeah. Fucking um, boring. I'm gonna live in a van. Hello there. You enjoy your Dude, office van job. Dude, van life. Van it's life. Fucking be the van life, guys. Uh, Family. But the other thing I want to do is be a medical science liaison where I uh, work for a drug company. I'm not a drug salesman. And I uh, talk, to a, uh, talk to doctors about how to properly administer medications. Like I new- love that word liaison. What does Me that too. mean? I just like using it for things that it probably doesn't even mean. Yeah. Like you're a liaison for uh, office hours. Right, like or I'll just be like, like you're like a man, like a, you're a slut. <laughs> Does it mean like you give head for money? Right, liaison, like you're a fucking slut. Like you slut, like you slut. Uh, it means communication or cooperation, which facilitates a close working relationship between people or organizations. The head oh. porter works in close, like the middleman, in, in close right. liaison with the reception office, the messenger. I use it correctly, by the way. Whenever I said that you're a liaison for officers. Oh, hours. okay. Wow. Oh, okay. If we're gonna get into semantics, uh, no, but <coughs> seriously, uh, that would be a lot of fun. You get to travel basically wherever the wherever they the drug company needs you, and try to sell drugs. No, not sell drugs. Just be like, uh, educate doctors on how to properly administer medications. Oh, okay. And so like they, you know, like so you wouldn't have, be working for Big Pharma. No, well, technically yes, I would be working for Big Pharma. You'd be working for Martin Sk- Skrillex. Yeah, Martin Scorsese. Boom, 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 boom. Call my one now. Why so serious? <laughs> the giant and oh. 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 oh, oh, enemy spotted. So you need the specific, the other degree that you're going to be there for another two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half. Uh, well, actually, it's like two years in person classes, like showing up and being present at classes. Present classes. Present in classes. And then it is one year of five week rotations uh, at different sites. So like one of my friends is in Alaska for five weeks. Oh. Uh, like that really? kind of thing. Oh, my God. I've heard it's pretty cold up there. I heard that there's... Did he bring a, a jacket? She. Excuse she me. She got engaged, so congratulations, Liz. In Alaska? Yes. Polar bear? Yeah. yeah the Coca-Cola polar. polar bear? Yep, got engaged to the Boca Polka bear. Yo, do you guys think that the Coca-Cola bear, like, fucks? If, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to ask some, some mascots, okay? Okay, let's hear it. Fred Bird. No, he doesn't get... Fred Bird doesn't fuck? No, nah. definitely not. The Philly Fanatic. For yeah. sure. Fuck. He's, he's a sex addict. <laughs> he's, he's a, a giver, not a take. He's a nephrologist. That's the way. That's why he is the way he is. You ever seen that old black and white movie called Nephrologist? Yeah. Name another one. Um, we could do this all day. Baltimore. Fuck. Let's run that Baltimore. Back. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have a. Hold on. Let's run that back. Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> what does the Baltimore Orioles mascot look like? 
don't know. Is this just a big fucking bird? If it's a big like fucking a, bird, then no. He's like a really oval head, doesn't he? Oval. Oval. If it's a bird, no. No bird fucks. Oh, it is a bird. Show me one fucking bird that fucks. This bird fucks. No. Oh, an oil is a bird. No, that bird looks like a pussy. This bird fucks. I could beat the fuck out of that bird. Mm, this bird fucks. Oh, no, it looks like a pussy. Okay. I could Available. beat the shit out of him. I couldn't beat the shit out of Fred Bird, but he doesn't fuck. That fucking so pussy you would only beat up fuck. I could beat up the Baltimore Orioles mascot. Yeah, I could. Uh, the Co- Dallas Cowboys mascot. <laughs> Yeah, he fucks, but he's what about, he's definitely what about the, the Mavericks mascot fucks Fox. hard. What about the Houston Astros? No, not really. I forgot his name. He's, he's a, a good. He's probably one of those guys that's like got a big got a big rod and he and he fucks good, but he doesn't get any. You know what I mean? Weird, but long schlong. Uh, right, right, right. The Denver Nuggets. Uh, I don't know what the Nuggets mascot was. He's like a lion, didn't he? Isn't he? Yeah, he's like a lion. Do you? Is yeah. he a big nugget? Yeah, Rocky. His name's Rocky. Yeah, he oh, fuck. He's a cougar like a mountain. Hey, yeah, he's like a mountain lion. Uh, yeah, definitely. he fucks. Yeah. What about... Uh, definitely. I, it's funny because I have to know the name of these mascots. What the uh, St. Louis Blues? Uh, hold on. Nah. Do they have a mascot? Yeah, they do. He came to a wedding I was at once. What's, it's what that is bear. It? Oh, it's a bear. Blue. It's a blue. Right. Blue. blue. Uh, Crunch from the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yeah. Oh, oh he oh, looks man. like a... Is that a shorts? Is that a no sleep varsity jacket he was wearing? Uh, yes. <laughs> what the fuck? That looks like a Chuck E. Cheese animatronic. It kind of does. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, can you play the? Uh, hello. Here, let me do. It. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Yo, he looks like he's from FNAF. <laughs> oh, I, I got it. <sighs> when when I when uh. What? Uh, Benny the Bull. Mr. Yeah. Met. What does Mr. Met look like? Oh, no. <laughs> is, he just, is he just a big baseball? A big, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Raymond from the Rays. <laughs> what does he look no, like? Oh, bro. He's a pedophile. <laughs> oh, yeah. He definitely looks at children, and it's not okay. <laughs> He's a pedophile. He's, he's at the game Holy for the shit. kids. Holy shit, Rocky's fucking shredded, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. He fucks. Send me that picture, please. <laughs> Send me that. I'm gonna, you're Crop gonna it. See, you're going to see it on my bathroom wall. Steely McBeam from the Steelers. Excuse me? Oh, oh I've that never, guy lays ever pipe. seen that I've yet. never that seen guy, that. guy lays like pipe. a big corn cob. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Hugo from the Hornets. What does he look like? No, nah, not a chance. Mm-mm. You wouldn't fuck a bee? Hey, now with, guy's, those, now with those eye slits. That guy's never touched a pee in his Holy life. Holy shit. The Memphis Grizzlies Grizz. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Like yeah he fucks. Harry Cock. Have you ever seen him do the slide <laughs> Ice, down the escalator? Iceberg. No. What the fuck is that from? What Happy Feet? The Penguins. Pittsburgh Penguins. The Penguins? The Penguins. <laughs> the Penguins. Mr. Red Legs. Holy fuck. Oh, no. Nah. No. Pedophile. Yep. Confirmed. Benny the Bull. Yeah. I've already yeah. been over that. Come on. Give me That's easy. You know, he actually, Michael Jordan would give. Uh, the Phoenix Suns gorilla. No. It's literally just a man in a gorilla suit. That's yeah. really weird. Why would it? Why would they do a gorilla? I don't know. Like be like funny and goofy. Kind of what? Kind of racist. <laughs> uh, what about Jazz Bear? Twenty twenty two. He's uh, this. He's the one that does the slide down the yeah, escalator. Yeah. Uh-huh. Up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, mm, that's oh. a kid. You don't know oh. what that means. Wally the Wally the Green Monster from the Red Sox is a no shitty way. picture, but he does not fuck. No, he likes he likes old women though for sure. Yeah, he, he's uh, Bernie from the Heat. <laughs> he fucks. Nah. So? he's like he's he's like uh, hey, he's like the po- knows. He seems like he's a little like he's got some issues. You know what I mean? No, I mean like I think with I think with Bernie he's like Napoleon Dynamite. You know, deceptively hung. Yeah, hung. But, yeah, but he's. You know, I don't. I, I feel. I'm getting the feeling that he's probably not all there. Case, Casey Wolf. Casey Kasem. Oh, what the hell? That's a Casey Chiefs. I don't like look. the way it looks. I don't yeah. even want to. I don't even want to no. answer that one. Milwaukee Brewers racing sausages. Duh. <laughs> what about the the? They already the are. They already are the things. I thought the brewer. Oh yeah. I thought that was his. Uh, he looks like a big. Uh, what about the Raptors? Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Sure. Dinosaur fox. You ever seen a dinosaur fuck? No. And, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a, a video of Sarah Palin. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's inappropriate. 
What is this list? That's, yep. It was just like I ranked. Yeah. You know. It's top ten mascots who fuck. Yeah. Sexiest mascots. What's the sexiest mascot you've ever seen? <laughs> uh, where do so, I begin? So many. Look up sexiest mascot. Mascots. Um, what about Gritty? I think Gritty is the sexiest. Gritty's oh gotta be God. the sexiest. Gritty? You ever seen somebody hit the Gritty? Yeah. Why don't you hit one? Can you show the camera what that what yeah. that looks like? All right. Thank you. All right, I'll look it up. Sex, what do you want? Yeah, sexiest. Sexist. Mask. Sexist. Sexist. Mask. And then uh, the Orioles guy will come up. And then it, backslash it porno. It will. Oh, shit. Images. College mascots? These are all. Images. Okay. Okay. Skip I think bullshit. there's three images. Holy oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Sexiest mass. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I guess. Sexiest mass produced cock. Willie the Wildcat from Northwestern <laughs> won that, by the way. Let me see. Never heard of him. Does he have an OnlyFans? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I'm getting a little hard. All right, dude, calm down. Okay. This is a Christian household. He won Sexiest Mascot? No. Oh. Fuck the Spartans. Mr. Clean? Uh, Mr. Clean's asexual. Yep. And I'll prove that. <laughs> I have receipts. Gavin, speaking of mascots, tell me, talk to me about these fucking protesters at the Timberwolves games. Yeah, what's going There's on? It's been with like that? three, right? Right, three. Yeah. So, One just happened last so, night. Yeah, so she was actually dressed up as a ref underneath her clothes. She was gonna planning. She was planning on like pretending to be a ref. That cop was on it though. Yeah, it was one of the assistant coaches. Yo, actually. can we just say like shout out to cops, right? We back we back our boys in blue, yeah. not our girls though. No, not it was women. a girl cop, yeah. so never yeah. mind. Yeah. Uh, if it was a girl cop, no, absolutely not. Uh, it was okay. Well, no. Um, so they are basically just people. There's been a bird flu going on in uh, a lot of flocks. Of oh, I didn't know that. Flocks in the United States right now, and uh, Glenn Taylor, the owner of the Timberwolves, as of right now. Uh, is it's eventually going to be a Rod and all them guys and uh Mark Lore, that's his name. Um, he owns a chicken of Lore Lore of the Rings. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, and he he owns chi- he owns a chicken farm, and oh. he, they had to kill a lot of the birds in inhumane ways because you because know of the flu. because of the flu. Yeah, they're like we don't want to spread them, so they just fucking like murdered them what like about, on the spot. What about the vaccine? <laughs> uh, anyway, so. Um, you're gonna get the video flagged. Um, fine, Carson. Um, so <laughs> a little scared. the these protesters are protesting that. Okay, because I I I. But this I, one, I, I, the I, person I, I, was right behind Glenn Taylor. They owned, right, literally right oh, behind really? him. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. The entire game up until like the third quarter, he she was literally sitting right behind him. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that. Do you think detail. that? Do you think so like she a, paid a lot for her ticket. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck ton of money. So to a playoff game too, right? So she she was dressed as a ref, or they were dressed as a ref under their normal clothes, and we're gonna jump out there and act like a ref. Yes. When you're st- sitting right behind the owner, you're yes. gonna what a moron! Why did she think they think they're gonna be successful? Why? Have you seen that, Sean, from last night? She's right here. Wait, why did she get arrested? What did she do? Oh, she tried. Because she jumped on the court. My like security knew she was coming. That's the, their coach? Their coach is right there. I'm sorry, it was a security card. <laughs> oh, damn. They, yeah, they dragged her off. The, yeah, yeah, that security guard was on that shit, though. If it's a security guard, shout out to security guards. But if you're like, a ref. They're running her off. Yeah, and like the coach even like was like... Yeah, she yeah. like had a ref uniform on. Wow, that's so weird. I didn't even know that. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was like, oh look, so, like the protesters are the refs. Ha ha, you know. What Sorry, the? I'm having trouble it's Alexa. To the internet. Oh, it looks don't worry like about it. She does this every once in a while. Device. Alexa, from? Alexa, shut up. Alexa, shut up. <laughs> shut up. We have a- but like, wow. wait for her to finish up. She's done. 
Yeah, so like Jesus. she's literally sitting right there. Yeah, literally right behind her. Glenn Taylor's right there. And did that other person pull out like a camera? Like, yeah, I, it looks like it. I think she was like a co-conspirator about it too. And so the so first one, the first that happened one was, was the, glue, the glue girl. And then someone chained themselves to a game. Yeah, which to, is the to the person. basket. Who was there for like a while? Like people are saying like minutes that that person was by the basket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it wasn't like absolutely, absolutely interfering with the game, but then it eventually, uh, it ended up. That's why they said the Glenn Taylor thing on their shirt. Yeah, that girl or person had a Glenn Taylor shirt on, and I think there was a there's another person. Yeah, no, the first one was the glue hand. Yeah, then the second one was the was the chain herself to the basket. Oh, I thought there was the same people. No, two different people. Uh, like, Why? two different games. It's like three a, separate oh. games. Is there a significance of the glue and the chain? I, no, I don't to really know. To stick themselves to the ground? Stick it to the man. Right. Uh, uh, I didn't realize that the glue person and the... Yeah. But those were, like, back-to-back games or something? Yeah. Oh, really? So the first person was the glue yeah. glue girl. Mm-hmm. And then chain girl yeah. was next. Uh-huh. Chain person. Yeah, and then it was jumping out Jumpy from behind person. Glenn Taylor uh, yeah. person. Running on the court. Wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Can you imagine somebody doing that at like the Clippers game you went to? I, I would have given him. I should have done it. Should have gone it up and really, gave Kawhi really, a kiss. It doesn't really bobble that much. No, I'll probably take it back, honestly. Yeah, probably a good idea. He's got a rod in his knee. Dennis Rod in his knee. <laughs> Played that joke before. So what do you think about these protesters? I, you know, whatever. I don't really... <laughs> I don't really care. I don't, don't really don't care at all. Not really hurting anybody. It's just nope. interesting. Yes, yeah. it's your team. Yeah. Uh, no, of course it is. Of course it's my. Of course it's my your team. team. My team. You do own them. I own them. The I'm bim- Glenn Taylor. The Bimbo Wolves. Yeah. What are they up now? Are they? Is it? It's uh, tied two one? two. Oh, it's tied. Tied. It's tied two so two. They won the game last night. Yep. It was really good. They playing Clippers. No. Who are they playing? Are the Clippers even? Are the Clippers out? Yeah, Clippers got oh, beat by Grizzlies? the Timberwolves, and then they got beat by the. Uh, beat by. Who did they get beat? Oh. Uh, who did they get beat by? Oh, I thought they weren't out yet. No, they got. They were out, like after the second playoff game. Well, fuck! I lost a lot of money then. I got to call the loan shark. Uh, I got to call a shark. <laughs> but then, the Nuggets, who were down three zero, Warriors were up three. Last Are the Nuggets doing it game again? Was today. Are the Nuggets doing it again like they did in the bubble? Game was today. It was projected the Warriors going to win. Nuggets pulled it through. I watched the last three minutes of the game. Every the best bl- minutes every of the blind game. squirrel. What? Every blind squirrel finds a nut. Wow, we got an astrologist over here. We got a nephrologist. Oh. We got a nephrotiti nef- 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 over here. Oh. But they pulled it through. They're not out yet. Yet. But they were playing their asses off today, so that's I. That's why I'm like, it's Clay Thompson like a playing for the Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bricked a fucking ball at the end, though. They were the Warriors. Had Desmond multiple Bain. Mistakes Desmond at the Bain end. is a baller. Desmond Bain for the Memphis Grizzlies scored like 35 points last night. I'm just saying that he's a baller. If we're talking about good players, I don't know. I didn't. I haven't heard about him. I just know about Ja. He's really good. Ja, 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 Ja. Ja only had like. Ten points or something like that, kind of like kind of think kind of like Carl Anthony Towns is like game three. I would have dropped like Towns. forty. Probably. I would have dropped. I think 40 I could easily drop head. like fifty yeah. games like Kobe. He's my yeah. favorite player. Is Kobe playing? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. He is he still on the Lakers? Lakers? Yeah, it's still on the active. Lakers. Yeah. He's active. Yeah. He's like Udonis Haslam on the Heat. You know, it's just there. You done? You done this? Haslam. Haslam. You done this, Haslam? Riddle me this. All right, Carson. All right, Gavin. What do we do every episode that it's our reoccurring segment? Gavin, why don't you explain it? Well, guys, every week we explain. <laughs> every week we explain. We explain the music that we are listening to this week. I don't think that made any sense. We explain the music <laughs> that we are listening to this week. We explain it? Yeah. I guess technically. Yeah. That's what we do. Okay. Have you ever read a book and like someone's like, I've read it'll book. be like it'll be like Seamus exclaimed, yeah, you know? Hunger Games. And it's like they didn't really explain that, you know. Yeah. But we explained this. 
Oh, okay. yeah, like that. Uh, so Carson, what you listening to this week? That's our segment. Is what you listen to? Last week we found out of a band named Johnny Hates Jazz with Johnny on the show. That's I'm true. Johnny on the spot. And Johnny recommended the okay, yep. Sea Urchins. Yeah, and I still need to listen to it because I liked it a lot. So this week, keeping. <laughs> So yeah, who fell asleep first? Prank him, John. <laughs> you already know. Yo, yo! So this last week, I decided that I want to try and start branching out a little bit more. I've been kind of getting stuck in my. And his name is John C. I'm kind of been stuck in my own ways recently. Mm. I've been stuck in the muck. Stuck Wanna in break the from the ads? If you tap now to watch a short video, you'll receive 30 minutes of ad-free music. I've been kind of just recommending like metalcore, hardcore albums, which is fine. I mean, that's what I listen to, but like trying to branch out, get back into listening to older stuff, things that I like, and kind of just stop recommending like the same shit every week. So, with keeping up with that and with keeping up with self titled albums, last week I recommended the self, the Third Eye Blind self titled album. This week I am recommending the Doors self titled album. From 1967, which has Break On Through Wanna break from the and uh, Light My Fire on it, which are two amazing songs. Also, it has the 11... I really minute. like Light My Fire. I didn't realize how much I liked that song until like, I listened to it. And it's like... It's, I just love... Yeah, Ray Manzarek. Manzarek. The wrestler. Rest, rest in peace. Brother, this guy stinks! One of the best you call yourself a fan. musicians and ever. I do like... Uh, I almost said George Harrison. What's his name? I Why does it sound like that? Holy shit. Do you honestly think you're fucking What's the Doris lead singer's name? I can't remember his name now. I'm Jim Morrison? Jim Morrison. There we go. I was thinking Jerry, George. Watched him at Seinfeld. Uh, yeah, I, I really Destroy like this album. Child. In my opinion, it's probably one of the strongest Doors albums. Just It just is very, it's loaded. Yeah, there it is, the gay bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and it also has the 11 minute ballad, The End, which is just a beautiful song. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm listening to. I, I, I do like The Doors quite a bit. Um, I like Jim Borenson. I really like Ray. I, like I think Bjork. they're just a super... I really like New York. No, Bjork. I really like New York. Okay. Bjork starring in the, a new movie coming out to you this week. Uh, yeah, I really like that album a lot. And I like The Doors a lot. And I, uh, I like it. Okay? Mm-hmm. Do I need to prove that to you? No. I proved enough to you over the text this week. <laughs> what did you prove to me over text? You just kept saying prove oh, it. Oh, that was last week. Was it really? Yeah, Gavin and Dude, I right. were having a usual spat and... <laughs> Excuse me. Really? Huh. Right now. I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> um, really, huh? Right now. Really? really okay. Right now. Okay. Okay, well, my wife just texted me. Uh, we're getting a divorce. The Fratellis will release a new album. Fratellis! Ah! Like... Two days ago. Look at that. Who's the fucking Fratellis? Oh, uh, you know, the uh, Chelsea Dagger. <laughs> Run around Sue. Oh, cool. Stop jiggling that. I'm going to reach over the table and punch you in the face. Um. So you might be wondering, Gavin, what are you listening to this week? Yeah, I am wondering that, actually. Uh, This week, you know, to be honest with you, I still can't stop listening to Ghosts and Para. I've listened to that probably, again, I said this last week 25 times, but probably 24 my times since last week. <laughs> I was into uh, Glow On, still by Turnstile. That is still a fantastic album front to back. I just can't get enough of it. Um, and I'm listening to uh, uh, Royal Blood's newest album, Typhoons, uh, like a lot. Is that? Have you recommended that yet? Yes, I have. Oh, really? I, I have. Didn't really, that. Yep, yep. How new is it then? I don't remember you ever recommending it. Uh, I think that was whenever we uh, talked about. I think I don't know. It's 2021, so it's not like new, 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 new. But you know, 
But oh, okay. Uh, this and I, <laughs> it's funny because I always catch myself trying to recommend old stuff that I've listened to before. But uh, done it before. What? Yeah, Typhoons. Never, this came out. Typhoons came again. out in almost a year ago. So, okay. so it might have been a year ago, honestly. Um, I probably was. I, I don't uh, remember. So, <clears throat> this week, I'm listening to. <sighs> actually, this week I'm I, I seriously listening to Jesus Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I listen to folks. that. I listen to that only self album. Is that the 2019 one? Yeah, 2018. But yeah, 18, excuse me. That's probably the hardest album I've ever listened to, and the songs just very are good, fucking hard. And you like it? You yeah, legitimately I, yeah, like it? Yeah. You're not just trying to be like no, brother I'm and serious. Like me. I'm serious. I like Curse of the Servant a ton. It's a great album. I mean, that they're just, just great. Just they're releasing a new album this year. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like. I really like this. I really like those guys. I, um, I was listening to like in the really car. Cool I was I listen to music that I don't w- basically my thought yeah, process like. is that I don't uh listen I listen to music uh to express emotions that I don't want to express so I listen to yeah. really fucking mean music right like that or really sad music okay so I listen so like half of my playlist is really sad but he's got depression uh yeah uh so <laughs> um there's so like like you know, being a Satanist, you know, it, it is what it is. But you know, you, you can't win them all. You know. Yeah. Uh, John, what are you listening to this week, buddy? I oh. love that you recommended that. That's that's a step in the right direction. <laughs> I'm stepping backwards by recommending Third Eye Blind on the Doors. And then I'm going to recommend the Batman, just the Batman. What? Mm-hmm. The Great song. album. Bum, I bum, I would bum, like to second bum, that recommendation. Bum, 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 by bum, Gavin, Jesus Peace yeah. is a great band. One of those that I really want to see live. Not even lying. That was gonna be the one I was gonna recommend because I have. Wow, you can. We've recommended the same things before. If you want to recommend that, Gavin and I recommended Glow On in the same week. We didn't even pretend. We didn't even. uh, I'm gonna recommend the band Purgatory. Purgatory. I've never heard of that. Tell me about Purgatory. Um, You're just recommending the band. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. uh, You don't have to write albums. Yeah. Like you have like specific songs you like by them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me what they are. Excuse me. I like uh, sincerely that? yours, <laughs> cold side of reality, and um, I think gospel of war is the other one. What kind of music are they? I uh, like metal. Hardcore. Yeah. Let me see what they. Let me show me an album cover or something. Or, or something. Or just show me something for God's sakes, Jesus. Mm, I don't recognize them. They have a really sick bass line in this song. Is it hardcore really though, or is moving. it like different kind of metal? It's like, uh, uh, it's not as hard as Jesus Peace. I will say that. Okay. It's so pretty, does it it's have like really guitar close. solos in it? No. Okay, so then it's not metal then, really. Well, it could be like thrash or whatever. <laughs> whatever. I'll have to give them a listen. I, I, I like that kind of music. Sean, I have some recommendations I need to give to you eventually with hardcore stuff. Was that Jesus Peace? Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to recommend an album called Sean's Medieval Playlist. Okay. Let's, uh, let's listen to the first track. I was looking through Spotify. Actually, there's a certain one I want you to... Okay. One of my favorite ones is in there. What was that really obnoxious one? You remember that? <laughs> I didn't put it in here. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Be- because I just kept... <laughs> is it? Why is this obnoxious? Because it got... I was trying to find songs off of the recommendations. Like, more recommended songs to add to your playlist. Just and the loot. this one just kept coming back up, and so I kept playing it. I was like, "So what about this one? This one, this one reminds me of Macbeth, Macaroni. Yeah, this is Macaroni, Macaroni and Beth. I, I'm the reason why I'm a- I think I'm able to play is is because it's not copywritten. It's like public domain because this free. is like royalty free music that has been public since like 1650. But now it's on Sean's medieval playlist. Now, Dong Sean. 
which is free to download on Spotify. So guys, if you're going to go check out Tron's music, you can find that. Well, should we get out of here, Gavin and Tron? Let's do it. I got nothing. I got nothing else. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about this movie I saw eventually. Maybe we can talk. We can talk about it's it a little bit. It's called The Batman. It's called Batman Dark Knight. It's called. You can hold off on that oh. for a minute. It's called Everything Everywhere, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Oh, I've heard about that. Very good. Why are you flipping me off? You saw it without me. Oh. You were working. Oh. You were working, and I want to wait for you. It's a great movie. The kind of the way I've been telling people about it is that it's like, it's like, because I don't know if you know this, Sean, but I don't like superhero movies. I'm aware of that. Don't he's, like. He's like Martin Scorsese's geek. Yeah, uh, yeah. Martin Scorsese's geek. Uh, Are there? Okay, never mind. Keep going. No, what are you gonna say? You can oh, say. There, is there a popular movie that you don't like, but everyone else likes that isn't a superhero movie? A superhero movie? Huh? A popular movie that everybody yeah. Yeah, like, like Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I love Pulp Fiction. But like, like one of those type of like cult classics. Classics that you don't like. That I don't like? Yeah. That's a popular movie? Uh, that isn't a superhero movie. American Psycho? Have you ever watched that? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I haven't too. seen that one. That's really good. It's good. You would like it. Is it on anything? You're kind of like a fucked up guy, so you'd probably like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're into that shit. It was on Netflix for a little bit. It's a short movie, too. It's yeah, very it's like short. Yeah, an hour and a half. Yeah. It's Maybe like, even shorter than that. It yeah, might even be like short. just over an hour. Um, fuck, I don't know. I would, I'd have to think about that. That's a good question, though. Um, oh, really? But anyway, so everything, everywhere, all at once. It's been out for a little while now, so most people have already no spent No it. Country for Old Men. Love it. That's One of my favorites. Fat, fat fucking movie. I love it. Fat. That's a fat-ass movie. I haven't seen Kill Bill, either. Yeah. I haven't, either. I'll be honest. I've seen Bits and Pieces. Yeah. Bitch and Beaches. Have you seen Tenet? Yeah, it was okay. I haven't seen Interstellar. I think I have. I don't know. I can't remember. I haven't seen a lot of those space movies. Like Spaceballs. I haven't seen that. Star Wars. I don't really like Star Wars that much. It's okay. It's okay. You I know, put when it up there. It's kind of like superhero movies, though, so I can't really pin those. I realize how bad the, the, the sequels are. Yeah. Not what prequels, you, the sequels. Are there Just any popular movies? Just Seven is good. I like Seven. Are I'll there? defend Seven because I like Seven. But it's exactly the, the same as Four. Out? Yeah, Seven oh, was man. the first one that came out like most recently. Yeah, that, they, they messed seven, up the whole thing. Yeah, Seven was like the best like setup movie of all time for that series at least. Because like, but it was the same storyline as Four. So let's call up J.J. Abrams. There was, was a horror movie that recently that came gave me out. that gave me chills. What did? Episode seven, seeing in theaters for the first time in like fifteen years. You should probably get that checked out. Okay, <laughs> that's a fucking problem. Dude. You are a pharmacist, so uh, <laughs> that was pretty good. There was a horror movie that came out last year called like Everything Mal- All Mal- at Once, Malevolent or something. I can't remember like the Cinderella one. No, <laughs> I forgot what it was called. <laughs> it was some horror Malevolent. movie. I think it's what it's called. I'm it serious. was some malevolent. Pre- no, that's Maleficent. Yeah. Yeah, malevolent. No, oh. that's not the one I'm thinking of. Fuck. Oh, Who was her? it? No. Horror movies. Of oh, yeah, she is hot. 20. Excuse me? No. You're talking Florence about my mom. Florence Pugh. That's who we're talking about. Malignant. She's hot. Malignant. Ah, uh, see, it was close. Malignant. Malignant. Florence, Florence Pugh's hot. Malignant, yeah. I. People loved it. I could not get through. She's fine. I've seen better. Yeah, she's fine all right. Oh, she's um, fine. Everybody loved Malignant, and I could not even get through like 15 minutes of it. It was so fucking horrible. Oh, I, watched Ant- I watched Antlers recently. That oh, was, was that A24? Antlers? No, shut up. Malignant was not. If it's oh. A24, I'll shoot myself right now. I feel like it was, but it's not. No, it's not. Thank God. Whew, Jesus. Antlers was, though, you right? You like A24? Love A24 movies. Every single A24 movie I've ever seen has been great. And I want to work with them. What about that what about that movie that the guy uh like Silent Bob and Jay? <laughs> Why'd you say that backwards? What Jay and Silent Bob were Yeah. Uh uh mm. Clock Clockers? Clockwork. Kevin Clark? Smith 
any like some of his movies. Oh, what was it? Tusk? I've never seen a Kevin Did Smith you ever, movie. Have you ever seen Tusk? Yes, Lord. I've never seen any Kevin Smith movies. I guess that was I'll pretty be terrible. Tusk was probably bad. Mall Rats. Haven't seen it. I have a Mall Rats shirt, though. Um, Lego movie? Never heard of it. Lego Batman? So I saw everything everywhere all once. Very good movie. You guys should see it. Dude. What I was going to say, though, I liked it. Uh, what I was going to say, though, is it, it it felt like a superhero movie I actually really liked. Because it kind of had, like, all, I'm not ruining anything by saying this, but it it does, like, the multiverse thing. It's literally um, the trailer, so. Uh, well, I don't I don't watch trailers, so. Dark Knight. <coughs> what is antlers is on hbo yeah that's where i watched it it's a, a horror movie a horror. Tokyo drift is on hbo too what is tokyo drift uh-huh. rick and morty <coughs> what's that oh uh all but oh never mind i think everything everywhere all at once just hit hbo and hunter say. x hunter oh my fucking god is that an anime is it oh yeah oh yeah. attack on biking so you liked it attack on biking you like yeah you, you like really this like not suit you like this superhero, non superhero, super superhero movie. Yeah, and it was just it was very fun. It was really Do you think that really Batman, well done? Did you like Batman? Yeah, the Batman? Yeah, the Batman. Like yeah, the most recent it. Batman that we watched in theaters. Yeah. I don't hate all superhero movies. No, I'm just saying like you're like this is one of the I have a funny joke. I was talking to uh, my friend Alex who who works uh uh at the wedding video company oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or wedding film company I work for. We I was shooting a wedding with yesterday. We were talking about movies, and I, because uh, he asked if I'd seen Licorice Pizza, and I was like, no, I really want to see that. And I was like, have you seen everything ever, everywhere? And he was like, no. He's like, I really want to see that. He's like, I was supposed to, yada, yada. So then you guys just exchange information. So you guys like kiss each other, and then you guys got the movies back and forth with each other. You guys like, we, touch s- tips. we, we, no, 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 we put our eyes together. Oh, yeah. And we went, yeah. and we figured it out. Mm. And then I asked him if he saw the Batman. Because I had said, I don't like superhero movies. And he's like, I don't either. And I was like, thank God. And then I was like, have you seen the Batman, though? And he was like, he's like, no. And then he told me a really funny joke that I, I'm going to steal from him. Where he was like, he's like, no, I, uh, my friends asked me if I wanted to go see it. And then I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, no, I, I watched the trailer. And he was like, it, it was really weird. There's like a guy in like a bat costume. And he was like, it was just really bizarre. He's like, I didn't, it was just awkward. So I really like that. We should next movie that we go see. We should dress up as like a character from a movie and then request like really well done. Death Note. Attack on Death. (laughs) Jujutsu Kaisen. Can you say that in 2022? Oh no. What did what did our grandma say that I did? I was like, can you say that in 2022? I don't remember. Funk. Oh yeah. (laughs) Isn't that her last name? Yeah, it was like F U N C K, and I was like, can you say that in 2022? Can you say that? (laughs) <laughs> anyway, all yeah, sinks, that all sinks really need to be at cock level. So, All right, everybody. Pizza? Thanks for listening to the It Takes All Kinds podcast, episode 60. Keep sharing. Keep keep tuning. Keep. Let's get some sponsors, guys. Uh, we want to get sponsored so we can make money. Yeah. Sean, what do you have to say for, for the Gavin audience? Gavin is running out of money. I'm desperately low on funds. Oh. Sean, thank you for joining us. Yeah, today thank you. On this thank show, you. I, it was very the whole episode. It's very impromptu. I really didn't want to have you on, but Gavin did insist on it. Yeah, yep. Um, Sorry, he was like, was Sean idea. is crying because he hasn't seen you in forever. Yeah. He really wants to show you his new shirt. Really wants this to come true. on the show. This is all true. And you're here, and you kind of put a downer on the I whole episode. Pissed yep. and shit in my bed. Yeah, to get here. Amber heard. I get it. Oh. Amber turd. So thank you for joining us on the show. Is there anything you like? Having me. Anything you like to plug? Got any new movies coming out? No. <coughs> well, thank you for being on here. Thank you for thank being you, the Sean. only three-time guest. Thank you for having me. We got to get the coats like they have on SNL, you know? The coats? Yeah. yeah. Look, bye, bye.